Hello, everybody. Welcome back on Prosper Goddess. Do not force these readings to fit. Always take them back in prayer and meditation and to the Most High God. Know your story. Do not force it to fit. Know what you are going through so you'll know if this reading is for you. But always take it back, baby. All right? I'm not God and never will be. All right? So let's just see what's going on with Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, I'm getting like this energy of like jealousy. But it's not the type of jealousy that you, that, that you think is going on, right? It's this jealousy of like people are possessive over you. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know um, how deep this level of ascension that you are at. But I'm seeing like there's a there's a good level of sense of self love, self worth, courage. It's like you are shutting it down without even popping up. If it makes sense, right? But with this jealousy energy, I'm sensing like you have a lot of suitors. Rather, this is on social media. This is at the workplace. It is in like your outings, your areas, places that you will normally be there very frequently. You're becoming a regular somewhere, Divine Feminine. And it's like somebody has their eye on you. Plus, on top of my Divine Feminines being on their spiritual journey, you know, your masculine is at the top of the tolling pole that, that feels like nobody is going, they're very possessive over you. The Divine Masculine is okay with fighting his inner demons and being the one that fucks it up, right? They hold you to a high level of, a high stature of love, poise, affection, self-respect, resilience, creativity, nurturing, right? Just, the, this, just that full embodiment of what their dream woman, dream wife, or dream man, or dream husband would be. Gender neutral. I do not do zodiacs, but whoever's in this feminine energy, you have a lot of people watching you, and a lot of people want to taste, and a lot of people want to bite, and a lot of people want to know you, Okay? And divine feminine, the Lord has the veil over your eyes when it comes to these love situations. Like, what are you talking about, prosper goddess? The reason so, I'm about to put you on, is because the Lord got you in position of wealth, position of success, and the position of peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and prosperity. And that looks very different to all of my good, 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 good girlfriends and good guy friends that are in this feminine energy. You know what the Lord, what you asked of the Lord and how you wanted your life to manifest opposite of the trials and tribulations that you naturally had to go through to be this powerhouse that you are today everybody's manifestations of their life or what they're working towards some of my divine feminines is about their money right that and some of y'all or some of my divine feminines don't even care about you know as long as their they wants and needs are met financially they're more so focusing on love right they want their man they want their woman to come in right they don't want for anything and for others of you you want the you want your your projects to bloom. You ready for your you ready for your manifestations of creativity that burst of passion to come through on top of the love of your life, on top of the 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 money and the success and the opportunities. Like everybody has their own lane here, but I'm seeing everybody in a position and ready to receive, baby. Attracting the highest level of everything that you could possibly imagine. This was a long time coming. Saturn being in retrograde, you, you served the 16th sentence. Okay, that's what I just heard. 16 years of the ups and downs nothing really stable nothing really here and 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 being content it's always ups and downs good times bad times bad 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 times good 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 and then it's bad again right this is your era where everything is where it need to be it's real stable and it's real on point and it's real accurate in your life big blessings to my feminines absolutely because you deserve that shit and don't let me don't let nobody else tell you i'm telling you <laughs> that's funny but yeah that's really what's going on there and i'm just seeing like there's a lot of suitors that is after my divine feminines on top of your masculine i'm seeing like your masculine knows your frequency they hold the same frequency of you even when they are toxic even when they are unsure even when they are unpredictable even when they are suppressing feelings suppressing emotions dragging their feet to take action and make decisions and prepare to allow you in their life whoever's in the masculine 
masculine energy, man or woman, gender neutral, like I said, all right? They're used to being the ones that, that do the disappoint, the disappointing, right? Even though that's not cute, but they, they're, they're used to being the one, like, I know I got to get me together because I know, I know my, I know my boo straight. I know baby straight. I know, you know what I'm saying? But they're now sensing, like, something's, di what the? Like, that's making them really want you bad. Like, this is, like, the hour of strictly, like, I need to hurry up and make this decision. I need to hurry up. They're taking risks. They are shutting it down. They are dismantling strongholds that once had these masculine energies in an uproar, okay? And they're, they find they find being with you more meaningful than the vices that they held on to for so many years. Take this back to God, but I'm speaking to someone, right they feel like it's stuff more meaning to life than the things that they put first and put it you second um under you understand what i'm saying and they're ready for this journey but they don't but they don't want to come off i just feel like these masculine energies don't want to come off like they're trying to control you they want you to be all you can be they want you to show your true personality they love all aspects of you but it's like the, the these masculine energies divine feminine they also don't want you to get too out your motherfucking body that's how i feel that's how i feel i feel that thank you holy spirit yeah mm -hmm that's how this person these how that's how this masculine's energies feel like don't get too out your body don't i gave you a i gave you i gave you a mile and then you wouldn't you know i gave you a yard and you want to take miles right i gave you an inch and you took a mile vice versa right they don't want you to get too comfortable by yourself because i'm coming back like that's how they feel like don't get too comfortable thinking you don't need a mass the masculine energy no more you're good like they don't like that like they 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 want that old thing back whether this is your old energy your old ways yes intuitively thank you thank you holy spirit for the confirmation intuitively yes this person is trusting themselves and trusting their intuition trusting their their innermost secrets and information from the divine when it comes to you but this is something that is hidden from my divine feminines whereas a lot of people that that you're catching their eye i don't know what you're doing okay and for others of you i just got divine masculine there could be a friend you could have showed your friend your feminine okay they could have showed their their friend divine feminine of you and now that friend rather they showed you your social media they showed something and now this i'm seeing like this really is a, a man okay they could definitely be now you know fanned out over your feminine divine masculine see you you come on that's a that's a diamond right you can't like that's something that you gotta protect that's something that you gotta not not hide them like a like, like an ebt card I'm, I'm just saying yeah, and that's the truth. Thank you. I'm not even done shuffling. See, over the internet, the web. I'm trying to tell you intuitively. This is also indication of the web, right? So that's the truth. You got somebody out here that your, your homeboy want to be with your feminine. I'm letting you know right now. Do you? Your, I'm not the wrong feminine. If somebody has told you, somebody has showed you to some your master has showed you to somebody that finds you so beautiful so attractive and they purposely are giving this masculine wrong advice to not be with you because they want you they want to fuck on you they want to spoil you you they in love with you so whatever that may be get, get it together that's the truth they want to be with your feminine they want to be with you divine feminine Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, what's going on, my divine feminines? What else is going on here? What else is going on, my divine feminines? Holy Spirit, clear out with incorrect messages. The lover's card tried to come out. Yes, your masculine is in this masculine energy. These masculines, okay? You got some got a lot of men in their feelings, a lot of masculine energies in their feelings, okay? Um, they a lot of they want to be compassion, okay? They want to they trying to control their emotions, right? They they want to they want to support, they want to support you, right? They feel real energetic, they feel the love. Divine feminine, you got a lot. Ooh, baby. I know the my feminine. It's like you can settle for the not settle, but you can choose the route of high level soulmate. You can you can be with your twin flame. You can you are you're so powerful and the Lord 
took off the spiritual training wheels. You can go out and date and talk. The Lord knows that you're not going to allow your heart to be on your sleeve and fully exposed so you can be a prey and victim and manipulated to narcissists and no good nickels and no good bitches, right? You're not, you're not acceptable to that type of energy anymore, and that's beautiful. You're, the divine trusts you to go on out there, right? Even though you probably, you probably are, you probably aren't. It does not matter. The Lord knows whenever you feel ready, like the Lord is allowing you to, to see they're guarding your feet against upheaval but they also trust it's like a partnership now before do as the spirit say do as the divine say no if and buts about it don't ask us why right but now there are trusting divine feminines my collective to to con to make a conscious spiritual decision on what you want to do with these masculine energies and this person loves you this person wants to be with you they are they they, they know that you have options see it's a lot of options of masculine energies that are going to come and they're going to support you they're going to be affectionate they're going to be compassionate they're going to be sympathetic empathetic right they're, they're going to be obsessed with you love you down they, they're going to want you all to themselves all up under you just shower you with love shower you with joy here a lot of ways a lot of options of men because that's the only thing that you're attracting now is what i hear okay oh all right i don't yeah a lot of commitment a lot of dedication a lot of devotion you got a divine masculine out here this is this is a divine masculine energy as well you're your person right yeah your person thank you for the double confirmation holy spirit that has a lot of feelings and emotions and they stood they stayed away from divine feminine until they're able to control them all right so they're able to fully be mature to come in okay to to be devoted to you and be committed this took a long time for this person to actually open up somebody's heart is open okay for you divine feminine their heart is open they love you they want you they they want to spoil you here as well okay they could be lying saying that they want to take it slow but then it ends up like let's 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 get engaged like because this person feels like the love is already solidified they want to pick up where you left off right but i am worried that you're no longer the unhealed versions of you where you're all all over the place and you're you're worried about them and third parties um, you're no longer worried if they um, even wanting to reciprocate the love anymore. It's a lot of emotional maturity that you have developed throughout this separation. But this masculine is coming in trying to pick up on that on that energy, right? They want to get fed that energy of the old divine feminine that gave love without anything in return, that gave loyalty without anything in return, just gave and gave and gave and gave and gave because that's what they're missing. And that's what divine feminine naturally does but to see the divine feminine in their era of resilience and self-worth they know how to give to give to give wholeheartedly and to give their all without jeopardizing self-worth self-appreciation self-love you understand this person has to come in and relearn them situations relearn that's why the holy spirit is advising this masculine to come in like that go on a date go drink go drink some coffee go drink some tea right Take a walk around the park or the neighborhood. Smoke a blunt. Smoke a cigar. Smoke. You get what I'm trying to say? Like it, you have to. They now have to approach this energy like they don't know you, and that's real shit. Because in all reality, that old version of you, it doesn't exist. It was a shadow of you, but now you're fully in your light, shining. Do you get what I'm trying to say, collective? Yeah, see, familiarity, that's the Six of Cups, familiarity, where it was chaos, where you tried to fight for this love, right? And for others of you, it goes back to that first energy where a lot of masculine energies and suitors that are want to be committed, that are going to be, that are trying to be um, <laughs> devoted to you, right? That, 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 that want to take the responsibility 
on putting in the hard work to be your man or to or to be your woman gender neutral right and that's what's stirring up this competition this the, the, this envy this jealousy this wanting to be right this wanting to win um energy on um, subconsciously is trying to manifest in this feminine life like who to choose <laughs> Everybody love me. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Even because you're naturally in the spirit, loving on you, knowing that you deserve the highest potency of love, sex, passion, money, joy, peace, right? And baby, it is now manifesting in the physical, but it's manifested where it's like everybody just want to cater to you now. Like, everybody's going to get, like, you ain't got to fight for this shit no more. Like, we want your feet rubbed. You want, you want souls tucked. You want, you want your back rubbed. You want to get fed strawberries and grapes. And you want to go to spa days. What you want your nails done, your hair done. Like, you, you want to you book a trip for you. Like, it's a lot of overly accommodation for Divine Feminine in a good way, though. And, I, and the Lord trusts that everything that glitters is not gold. The Lord trusts you that you're not going to get swayed into solely relying on those things. Because you give it to yourself already. That's why the universe has no choice but to get you in a situation with another individual. Companionship, partnership, marriage with somebody that also does the same. As well as love themselves here. Okay? That's a key factor. You're attracting people that love themselves. And it's like it's like your masculine. The more your masculine grows in their full potential, the more that means you've grown and that leaves open suitors your twin flame you need to understand it's always going to be people that love you it's always going to be people that that feel like they're the best person for you but when it comes to energy when it comes to understanding when it comes to that equal balance and mirroring we all know that's only going to come from your person and that's real life right but this person is missing you Okay, this person is missing you. They're not. I'm not seeing the six of cup as the past. I'm seeing the six of cup as familiarity. Right? We got some history. Like this is a long ass journey. We got history, baby. Right? And this person is reminiscing. Okay? Right? This person is very nostalgic. On nostalgic on if I would have showed this love, if I would have showed this dedication. This person wants to have a conversation with you, and this person is sitting on a whole bunch of emotions. And that cup and that pentacle is gonna. It, this is a day literally intuitively i know it doesn't look like that that's very rare like basic reading but this is a date this is a this is a small just a gesture to see like this person could be even trying to bait you in a good way i'm scared i'm nervous this person is scared this person is nervous okay but they want you they reminisce they miss you and they're trying to take it as slow as possible but they want to make love to you okay they want they want they want you severely okay and this is a lot of it's a lot of people that's gonna be trying to be tricks to the trade that's gonna be trying to be sneaky that's gonna be trying to overly protect it's a lot of energy coming right what is this king of cups here but divine feminine what you're gonna do here like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do here what are you gonna do because divine feminine i genuinely do see you out here you you want this king of cups energy all right you want that type of vibe that type of masculine energy here divine feminine i'm telling your business you could be missing your person even though certain men are tr are going to be treating you well, right? It was a painful ending, right? You know, this part, like, it was sad. You had a loss. But it's like, yeah, you love your masculine, but it's it's getting tempting. Like, you know what, Prosper God? It's like, I, I'm open to dating and speaking and, and, and getting to know other people. I'm so wrapped up in this connection, wrapped up in the spiritual journey of my twin flame. And it's like, your masculine's energy, their higher self, maybe not their physical but their spirit always fucks up your relationships you know, oh why they get to be in third parties prosper god i know because you love yourself you ain't gonna be jealous of no bitch what you want me to do you ain't gonna try to stop them you ain't gonna try to you gonna let that shit be you gonna find inner joy and happiness what you what what you want you gonna you gonna you gonna pull back your energy and let him be your masculine ain't gonna do that <laughs> he ain't gonna let you be stay out they face that's how you feel. Stay out they face. What is this King of Cups? Stay out they face. Told you, winning at all costs. They trying to bully people. They trying to bully people. 
okay? This is winning at all costs. You got the King of Cups and the Frenzy, baby. Okay, the King of Cups as a neutral energy of the, the, the men that are coming your way. Look at all these men in the battlefield. But I'm seeing like your masculine feels like, like I'm not going to be jealous. I'm not going to be a hater. I'm not going to like, like they, they overly confident. Like they know, like for some reason, they don't have no proof of this shit. But deep down inside, <clears throat> that's how true it is. Deep down inside, Ain't none of you niggas above me. Like, 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 that's how they feel. Baby girl, love me. Baby boy, love me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's me. I'm him. I'm her. I'm sorry. Like, that's how somebody feels with this bullying and battling. Like, this masculine is not playing, okay? For some of you, they, they the type, they, they possessive. You're mine. Like, you're mine. Okay. Okay. This person from this 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 King of Cups energy in the mat divine masculine way, not just the suitors, they refuse to be defeated. They're not gonna be defeated. They're gonna win you over. And it definitely is a, is a nice little date with judgment. They had they rebirth, they had they they reconsidered their actions and their ways. And yes, they're finding that peace of mind, getting their emotions and ba and um balanced, getting mature emotionally to be able to to be able to consume all that love and passion that divine feminine, not divine feminine has. It's not run away like a little girl or a little boy. They're gonna they're gonna accept their feminine love and their maturity in how they feel about relationships. They understand now, absolutely, and they want it. They want it with you, okay? What is this? Not very faithful. Knight of Pentacles is very faithful. They don't care how long some shit take. They 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 in it to win it, okay? And because they miss you, they want you, okay? Past life connections, past life as far as like this. this a different life baby not somebody that this is a different life okay what is this knight of cups energy for divine feminine whoa but i'm seeing you sticking to something as well in spite of you missing someone okay yeah you make them happy okay divine feminine i'm seeing you sticking to your happiness and putting in the hard work and energy to have positivity surround your good looking ass is what i'm seeing out here as well all right you absorbing all this positivity you absorbing all of this bliss right it, it, it you're no longer in the dark spot no more you're in the you're in the you're in the shine you're in the glow could be glowing okay i'm gonna dig into some channeling thank you holy spirit for some of you all right did this king of cups is a father okay your masculine could not be a father they could have kids outside of you it or, or man or woman don't matter they could have children okay but the one that's in the masculine energy they don't want to be defeated they they not they will they refuse to take no for an answer you're gonna be so shocked at this person the way they're gonna be so overly emotional it might scare you but i'm hearing the runner and chaser relationship dynamic is over for some of you congratulations and for others of you congratulations sorry divine masculine your feminine will become the runner they gonna take their slow ass time procrastinating on making you happy because what happened in the past know your story okay somebody feminine is going to take their sweet ass time giving you this happiness and joy that they once gave you because of this narcissistic behavior and trying to win at all costs and and, and, and trying to be a smart ass about this connection they ain't gonna forget the past that's why they're gonna be slowing up trying to give you this joy happiness okay still want some positive energy towards you but they're gonna be like mm, don't trust your bastard and for others my feminines right okay this person may say they want to take it slow want to put in the hard work and effort but then you come out it's going to be a beautiful surprise here okay i'm keep picking up pregnancies for my feminines okay because they're like i'm locking it down okay all right i'm willing to co-parent i'm willing to whatever the case may be okay we make sure the baby the baby mamas and the baby fathers is okay i don't i don't give a fuck like like that's a, ooh. this five of swords is like look how these other men are walking away weeping like i don't give a fuck like you want to sit down and talk it's my wife giving will smith keep my wife's name out out your motherfucking mouth right that that's how somebody feels out here about you keep my wife name out your motherfucking mouth rather you got kids or you don't got kids or you or you or you do have kids or you don't or blended family or not blended family this both y'all first child or just their first child or just your first child y'all both got kids outside this a whole lot of feminine and masculine energies of twin flames out here getting to it okay know your story because everybody out here okay everybody all my feminines with kids, without kids, masculines with kids, without kids, everybody out here, real shit, congratulations. And they're, they're saying, like, 
For some of y'all, your master is gonna go tell you, let, let me let me sit down with him. Yeah, I wanna sit down with him. And I'ma let him know. It's kind of giving bully. This is a bullying card. It kind of can give like, listen, if it ain't about like I'm serious. Here probably when, you know, like, look, my wife, king and queen of cups. I just told you this. My wife. This my baby mama. This my everything. You curious? Yeah, anything you need, anything you want about these kids outside this relationship. We got business hours for this shit. No more late calls and random thoughts you calling my wife or you calling my husband. That's how somebody feels here. You need something, you want something, we gonna talk about this shit during the day. Business hours. After 5 o'clock hole, ain't no emergency, you shouldn't be calling. Real life. Like, that's how somebody gonna be. Like, get, get out, get out the way. Wow. And for others of you, this is how somebody's gonna treat exes okay of yours because you're now going to be in this relationship with them focusing on building this family and relationship okay what is this um six of cups wow I told you my family my family now love i just told you i just oh this is so good but they so feisty they so obsessive they just want you divine feminine these other offers Okay, your main divine master took over the reading, but the other offers, it's going to be happiness, dedication. They're going to make you happy. They're going to be positive thinkers, positive motivators, okay? And they're going to make some of them, they're, they're nothing like your past experiences in love, okay? New relationship, this new home, new family, um, up and moving, up and leaving, Okay, situation keeps coming out for the feminine and masculine energy. This could be somebody asking you, like, yeah, we taking it slow, but they lying. Okay, they, 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 this is a baby. Okay, a lot of them are going to, y'all said y'all taking it slow, then y'all, oh, babe, I'm pregnant. Okay, good, because I got a brochure of these fucking houses. Like, this is this for, like, good, because, bitch, like, I'm glad you said so. They're going to be acting like, well, you for real. But they didn't. <laughs> Got him. Not like that, though. But it's like, I'm, I'm, okay. That, a whole bunch of love. A whole bunch of success. A whole, like, an overfilling of emotions. Harmony. Um, this is pure joy. This is in love. The love of my life. Me and you to the ending of time. Um, ending of time. Justin Timberlake featuring Beyonce. Um, this person is even getting their families on board because they're telling everybody, I'm not going to be defeated. I'm not losing out on my happiness and the love of my life. Okay, have a dinner. We're having a dinner. We're sitting down. They're coming. And, 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 and quite frankly, if it was a third party connection due to them actually being with karmic, so even if it was a family situation, this person is gonna say, All right, mom, dad, whoever, they could be they grown people. But I'm saying, like they could be like, I know you're gonna curse me out, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, I know you're gonna think this is a bad move for me, but this is how this person make me feel. And I and I don't wanna live what if. So even if it do turn bad, but they feel like it's not, and this is confirmation it isn't. But they but there's so much in their thoughts and feelings and reminiscing about be what's what what could have happened if I would have gave them that love that they were searching for from the gate and being all I could be and healing and learning and growing with them as well as teaching them things, right? They're willing to take the rap. They're willing to take the the hatred, okay? They're willing to take the misunder the misunderstanding of this connection because that's how much they want to honor you and show that they're all about you. There's going to be certain people that think they crazy, but at the end of the day, it's a happy ending, happy family, right? And this person's going to be like, I should have done this a long time ago if all it took was for me to stand up on my feelings, right? They're not going to be disrespectful. They're going to say, I genuinely just want to just let y'all know, like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm scared my damn self, right? But this is what I want to do. And, I, and, and, I, and I'm telling y'all this because y'all my family, you my mother, you my father, you're my sister, you're just my mom, you're just my dad, you're just my grandmother. Whoever they grew up with that considers themselves as close-knit family to them, they're going to say it. Like, I know y'all might think I'm crazy, I'm bugging, curse me out, all that good shit, but... I'm doing this, and I would love for y'all to be a part of it, but don't get it fucked up in the most beautiful way. I would just live this life 
in peace and without y'all. But I'm, I would still come around. But to witness my love, my children, my new life, I would definitely have no problem living, living that separately. And someone's going to say, okay, you have my hand in this love, in this marriage here. They did this inner work. Wow. Wow. That's how they feel about you. The mask of the, the, the masculine. Let's see what else is going on here. Give me some love messages. Divine masculine to divine feminine. You are all I ever wanted. Told you. Your laugh is amazing. Maybe they miss your laugh. Nostalgic. Look, I never met someone like you. They they never met and they tried to replace you. Trigger warning. Right? Nobody gets their jokes like you. Nobody gets the sarcasm. Look, past life regression. I just told you, I still think about you. Can we work this out? Like they oh, they really feel like that. Like they're coming to make it right to you. And look, I can't hold back any longer. They're about they 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 told you they're trying to get their emotions together. They hope you're doing well. They already feel like they served their karma. Okay? They're saying I can't hold back much longer. I gotta rally up close friends, close family members, whoever the case may be. Um, and for some of y'all, you know, regardless of the family dynamic of the woman and the man, or baby, y'all both need to do this, um, the Lord is going to make a way. Just speak your truth, for the truth will set you free. And the Most High God and your angels and guides will fill in the rest. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to have control of this situation. As long as you speak the truth and it's genuine and it's real and it and that's all you can do at the end of the day is be fucking real. You get what I'm saying? You can't expect nothing else. As long as you know you was real and you kept it a honey, you kept it a bean with niggas, you have no choice but to, I can't control nothing else. As long as I know, and I can sleep well at night knowing I didn't put on a facade and I didn't lie and I didn't suppress who I am as a woman, who I am as a man. And I love you, baby. Bye.